Hello creative makers. I've been making some postcards of this Sailors and Ships collection. Like this. And then I decided to create some postcards with floral papers. This botanical journal light kit. And I try to select pages that have a light, simple images and colors. Mm. There are some bright florals, yes, but there's also space, white space, blank space behind the flowers, for example, here. And the lighter the pages are, I think they will work the best. And for example, this dark black text doesn't work, but the upper part, this will work very well. I just printed some of them. Let me show you. Here. I now where did I put those backgrounds? Let me find them first. Here. These backgrounds are from the Sailors and Ships collection. And uh, as these were made for the these um, photos, postcard po how should I say it? Photo postcards. They have the name of the photographer written on this line here. That's why I created a universal background with four postcards and without the text. This background is meant for any other papers that you might like to print this on or as background. You can use this for both purposes, just like in here. It's The text is on this front, but also it's on the back. And now you can really use this as a postcard. So... If you have purchased this kit, this um, Sailors and Ships kit before, I have added in the kit this one universal sheet, and you can get it too. If you go, if you have purchased it while you have uh, been, um, if you have been logged into your account your Etsy account. You can go there to your account and uh, download the files again. Now there will be this extra sheet in that zip file. If you have purchased the papers as a visitor, this is not possible. That's why you always, uh, it's best to purchase items when you are logged in in your Etsy account. Okay, but um, yeah, now you know it. There's this background and um, here is what it looks like when you have, I printed it on another page. Not all of these are perfect. I will select the best ones and make cards of them and I will show you what what they look like that's upside down but you can use this one that's upside down you might be able to use that too but these are two too blurry or too 
busy <laughs> with all kinds of texts. Here the light parts, they look gorgeous. And this one too. Yes, I will now select the best ones and show you the easy way to make beautiful postcards. There I have cut the best ones and I'm using my leftover cardstock. Now I'm going to glue them on the cardstock and then glue, cut it trim it and glue that on the postcard text background. Now let's see which uh, which would we use first. That one is beautiful. Also this blue. And this green, this one, okay, I I seem to like them all. This is quite dark, I will use it later. Beautiful, beautiful, another beautiful. <laughs> delicate and light and beautiful. That's quite nice too. It's the same. Let's see. This one is thin paper. This is thicker. I will select that. there. Now to glue these on, on the cardstock. And I want to avoid warping, so I'm not going to use the water-based glue. I'm, instead I'm using a glue stick because I'm going to sew around the edges afterwards, so this will not hold them down by itself. It needs something more, but it will not make the paper crinkly or warp it. So I'll just use this. Like that. Need my tweezers. And then I will trim this like that. And then I'm going to glue it on on the background and if you Look it through a source of light. You can see the the edges of the card back on the back background and you can position the card to the paper. But this seems to be okay if I just glue it the both of them, their corners, so that their corners match this outer corner much. So let's glue it. Again this will be enough because I'm going to sew around. Ok. 
carefully, carefully. I don't want any nasty, oi, 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 crinkles, Rin wrinkles. <laughs> Try to avoid these wrinkles. I think it's it's not so bad when I still I'm still going to sew around so it will be smoother after that. Now I will cut the card there. And now let's sew around the edges with white thread. Done. Nice white stitching and the background looks like this. Here you can mark the address, name and address and the message. And it looks original and quite beautiful. And now I will make some more. Next one will be this and this background and as they are cut in different, uh, not at the same time, they are different sizes but I will show you just what to do. Let's find the background for example I have these simple cardstock pieces I will add it in the middle and it doesn't matter if there are different sizes but because I'm going to go to my cutter and trim them first glue them down and then trim them to be the exact same size. Here's the glue. Like that. And the cardstock. I'm going to Center it like that, then this one double checking that it goes the right way like that. centering it and uh, now I'm going to trim the edges. Now it looks like this. I've trimmed all the edges and now to sew it. It's finished and I think I love this. It's vintage and very beautiful. And you can also use these as journaling cards for your journals, junk journals. Now some more. And here are the last two. Because these are so delicate and there's a lot of white, I decided to sew them wavy, with wavy stitches. And I left some of the threads hanging. The same here with white thread, wavy stitches. And the background. So there's one idea. Or postcards 
or journaling cards. I hope you like this idea. And if you make some postcards, please tag me with uh, the text with my name, There His Paper Art. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, so that I can see your creations. And I will link these papers down below. See you soon. Bye-bye.